Hello, in this video we will understand about the phototaxis and chemotaxis in bacterium. So what is the phototaxis and chemotaxis? The movement of bacteria toward the light or toward the chemical or away from the chemical for survival. Let's begin to understand. The microorganism shows attractant or repellent responses like photon or uh, chemicals and to survive in various environment factors in which they live. Those phototox uh, phototoxic to light and chemotoxic to chemical responses are regulated by membrane embedded receptors and transducers. So the uh, membrane embedded receptor we receive as a ligand uh, uh, chemical or light and transducer will transduce. And in this way, we will understand about that. So number one is thing, thing is that the light and chemical, for example, carbon dioxide and oxygen, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur oxide, a lot of things. And uh, water also play as a chemical role. So remember, this is the light. So the sensory rhodopsin uh, and tar protein are present, which that is used for the light detection as well as chemical. And the flagellum here as well as this is the E. coli, the prokaryote, because the DNA without nucleus is known as prokaryote. Whenever it will feel the stimulus, it will move away or toward the stimulus. Away means the negative phototactic movement, toward means the positive phototactic movement and the most favorable environment. Photoreceptors can be divided into two domains, the sensory rhodopsin 1 and 2. And this will lead to trigger the transducers. And in this way, the transducer will be classified into two, HDR1 and 2. Anyhow, this is a light when fall. This UV radiation is the red light. Will uh, Basically, a red light will not influence but the blue light will influence to change their direction the movement the mobility of the uh, bacteria due to the blue light remember for example red light will be fall on the uh, sensory rhodopsin the vitamin a containing content and this is the sensory rhodopsin the photoreceptor will receive this red light will uh, basically not trigger uh, and uh, it, it will uh, it will lead to methylation. This methylation will lead to inactivation of the cascade of phosphorylation. So number one thing is that trans and cis isomerization of the retinal chromophore will lead to second one is the relaxation of the retina leads to functional process during photocycle. Anyhow, this is the GR protein. The GR protein complex will be methylation will lead to inactivation. When methylation will be demethylation lead to activation due to the blue light. Remember, whenever the demethylation will occur will lead to recruit the GW and GA protein. GA protein phosphorylation to phosphorylase to GA phosphorylase protein activation will be occur remember for the movement of the bacteria away away from the stimulus or toward the stimulus if so it means the red light will lead to re, uh, toward the stimulus we will discuss now so this is the basically uh, 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 a red light will not toward but it will not move any part so this is the ga is the phosphorylation and in this way the gb phosphorylation due to the ga is the autokinase phosphorylase or uh, phosphorylation will lead to GB will act, uh, deactivate and demethylation will lead to activate the further cascade of phosphorylation of another protein like GY. This GY will be phosphorylase will lead to activate the GZ. This GZ protein will be activated to the motor region of the flagellum which that will lead to proton, uh, uh, a proton movement, lead to move the flagella and use the ATP. 
रिपेलेंट मीन इट इज ऑल्सो ट्रीगर द मूवमेंट अवे फ्रॉम द स्टिमुलस फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस वॉज द टू वर्ड द स्टिमुलस फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्यू टू द रेड लाइट वाइल ऑन द अदर हैंड द डीमिथाइलेशन ड्यू टू द रिपेलेंट विल लीड टू एक्टिवेशन एंड द एम सी पी कीमो रिसेप्टर विल लीड टू ची डब्ल्यू एक्टिवेशन लीड टू लीड टू एंटी क्लॉक वाइज रोटेशन ऑफ द फ्लैट जिला सो द अट्रैक्टेंट मीन द एंटी क्लॉक वाइज वाइल द रिपेलेंट मीन द क्लॉक वाइज सो रिमेंबर द क्लॉक वाइज मीन द रिपेलेंट behavior of the bacteria while this is the aspartate for example as a chemical will bind with the tar the extra cellular domain of the receptor will lead to demethylation to chi w activation to chi y and a again which that is the same cycle will lead to positive tactic movement the positive chemotactic movement in this way the attractant it means the anti clockwise movement so in this way the phototaxis and chemotaxis will occur in the bacterium due to this phosphorylation cascade of phosphorylation due to the activation of the protein like cw to y and a etc and ultimately the cz will lead to activate the flagella flagella movement so any whole let's begin to understand the photochemical reaction the photochemical reaction cycle so how it's possible the photo mean the light and chemical mean the chemical for example this is a blue light and the orange light so number one thing is that the blue light how blue light can uh, lead to trigger the movement as a uh, as a repellent so after this this is the part a we will discuss first so the uh, 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 sensory rhodopsin con two containing 498 Uh, uh photons uh, related will lead to trigger the um, blue light k5040 uh, uh, 540 and will lead to l408 to m390 390 is the repellent will lead to extra cellular uh, uh, basically sorry will lead to o560 to again cycle this will occur while on the other hand the sensory rhodopsin one involved for the orange color identification in this way the 587 to trigger the k620 uh, to l5540 uh, to the m373 373 will lead to violet color identification to the again repellent behavior if the violet color to the cycle will occur and the p5020 uh, sorry p520 will lead to repellent while the again it will be cycle will cover on the other hand the attractant through a m373 which that is a attractant and due to the orange light and in this way the orange light is uh, used for the attractant while the blue light which that conversion will lead to repellent the m390 so this is the photon the uh, photon the wavelength of the light is uh, responsible for the movement for example like the m373 uh, uh, will lead to attractant while the m390 will lead to repellent so in this way the wavelength uh, uh will matter so anyhow this is just a general overview about the photochemical reaction cycle so the photochemical reaction mean the chemicals basically the photochemical will change and identify the wavelength will lead to repellent or attractant so let's begin to understand the theoretical explanation the cycle of sensory rhodopsin 2 uh, in the form of a group and uh, sensory receptor 1 b so the sensory receptor 2 absorb blue light and forms k uh, 620 to l 540 and the long lived m intermediates and long lived m intermediates 373 which form the uh, p intermediates and this p intermediates is a p 520 upon the second photon absorption in the near 
a UV region. So near the UV region, uh, region will lead to basically uh, P520 is the repellent, M390 is the repellent, while the M373 is the attractant for the bacteria due to the stimulation of the light so the phototactic movement due to the repellent or attractant on the basis of the photochemical reaction this photochemical reaction is very uh, difficult to understand in this video but we you can understand just so anyhow so what is the benefit of the phototaxis and the chemotaxis for bacteria Let's begin to understand the side note about the phototaxis and the chemotaxis. The phototaxis or chemotaxis is a process for survive bacterium in environment. So more harmful radiation and chemical avoidance which more helpful and favorable chemicals like carbon dioxide, oxygen or nitrogen dioxide, other uh, sulfur oxide. For example, the beneficial for the bacterium uh, is identification important for move toward the chemical or away from the chemical on the basis of the favorable condition for that bacteria. And in this way, the bacteria will live longer and bacteria competition will be more. And those bacteria who will cover the uh, mission about the phototaxis uh, very quickly will be able to reproduce and will be able to reproduce to evolve new recombinant bacteria and in this way this is a chemical can be a uh, for reproduction of the bacterium as a pheromone or others so a lot more things but in this video we have discussed about the general overview I hope you make sense about the phototaxis and chemotaxis in bacterium. In this video, we have discussed about the phototaxis and chemotaxis in bacterium. So, uh, this is the uh, short review about the uh, bacteria uh, bacteriology. So, how bacteria can move and repel uh, to uh, move toward or away from the chem uh, stimulus. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Bye.